Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB0707 sunglasses. But first off, thank today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 53 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. And this is actually the larger size of these sunglasses. They also do produce these in a smaller lens size with 50 millimeter lenses and the exact same 21 millimeter bridge. Now I think for the average person, you're actually going to want to stick to that smaller lens size, but a lot of people have been complaining that I'm only reviewing the standard size. So I figured for this video, I would go ahead and review this larger lens size. Now, as far as the exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video, these have Ray-Ban's brown gradient lenses and they're beautiful trans transparent light brown frames. Now these frames are actually made out of a propionate material instead of an acetate. Now typically propionate doesn't have quite as good uh, tints and colors as an acetate does, but when it comes to just a pure solid color, I think propionate can look just as good as an acetate material looks, and these definitely look really, really nice. These frames are made in Italy. They sit here in the inner right temple of the frames. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy, and they also have very nice and premium seven barrel all metal hinges and they just feel very very nice when you open up and when you close them they just feel very substantial and strong which is really nice now if we pop on the sunglasses we can see of course there is a painted on ray-ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens that's also there for authentication purposes and then if we move down to the middle left ones you can also see a little etched rb logo now if we move down to the outside temples of frames we can see a raised ray-ban logo in both the left and the right hand temple uh, which makes them a little a bit loud. I personally think these frames would look a lot more sleek if they just had a little metal accents on the side where it says Ray-Ban, uh, just like it does with here on the front, uh, where it just is a really clean and nice metal. I wish they kind of matched the metal there to the metal on the outside temple instead of having that raised Ray-Ban logo, but that's just my personal preference, of course. Now, as far as lenses go, these are all glass lenses or Ray-Ban's crystal lenses, and they're going to be very good. They're going to block 100% of UVA and UVB protection, which is extremely important for your eye health, and they also have this really beautiful gradient to them. It's going to be a little bit hard to see here uh, with this artificial lighting here, but we can see they definitely are darker here at the top, and then they progressively get very, very clear here at the bottom, uh, which is actually pretty practical because, of course, sunlight is usually shining up high and not usually shining down low. So if you're looking at your phone or a book, you can just look down and it's really not going to darken it too much, which is pretty cool. I do like it. And of course, the look of gradient lenses also look really good, in my opinion, as well. As far as styling goes, I don't personally prefer this style. They definitely do have a little bit of a cat eye effect. I don't think they look bad on my face, but they definitely look a little bit more feminine, uh, in my opinion. I personally would prefer something like the Ray-Ban Meteor, but I still think it's a very good looking pair of frames, uh, none the less. Uh, now, as far as uh, the overall build quality, these actually feel really, really good right out of the factory. Like I said, they do have very premium seven barrel hinges, just like an original Ray-Ban Wayfair would. The only real downside here is they do squeak a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that, but they just do squeak just a little bit, uh, which makes them feel a little bit uh, cheap. And that's probably because they're made out of a propionate material, and it feels like these are actually injected plastic here, uh, which makes them uh, more prone to squeaking than acetate would. But of course, acetate can still squeak as well, and it's not that big of a deal. You probably can't even really hear on video. And squeaking frames always feel a little bit cheap, but if you do wear these for a couple months, usually these squeaks kind of just kind of work themselves out. So whatever squeaking ends up getting kind of like filed down here where the lens meets the uh, rim of the frame. Uh, but yeah, either way, I think it's a decent pair from Ray-Ban. As far as pricing goes, these are pretty expensive coming in at $189 in this exact colorway. I think if you're just to get the regular uh, black frames uh, with G15 lenses, I think those are like 163 or something like that. But we do have this exact pair on our website. If you're interested in that, we're gonna leave a link in the description down below where you can pick up this exact pair of sunglasses for a huge discount off the original MSRP. But yeah, let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. It's a brand new release from Ray-Ban. Uh, that's why I decided to make this video. And I absolutely love the color of these frames. They look absolutely beautiful, especially when wearing them out in the sunlight. But yeah, again, let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you all in the next one.